All right, we are live here on YouTube. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. Just doing a random impromptu stream is the plan. So I guess I'll kind of wait for people to show up, but I'm working on a build currently in The Sims 4, which you might be able to see from the thumbnail. And we're going to be working on... So I've already built, I guess, kind of half of it. Oh, lol. Dr. Gluon just texted me. Lol. I, he just said, can you go live now so I can raid you? I literally just did. Did. <laughs> I don't know if he already knew I was planning on doing it, but that was random. Hey, guys. Uh, yeah, so anyway, we are working on an apartment building. And it's a big build. So I figured we'd do part of it on stream. Because I've been recording part of it. And I'll show you the build once we get to it. Um, I've been recording part of it, but it's taken a long time. So hang out a little bit on stream. And I'm sort of working on floor plans still as well. But that's the plan. Hey guys, welcome. Welcome to the stream. So that looks like that's good. I think everything, oh. Okay, well that thumbnail is wrong. Wait, <laughs> hang on. Did the thumbnail, oh no, the thumbnail's right. Okay, it's just Discord. My Discord alert has like the wrong thumbnail for some reason. Anyway, hey guys. All right, so let me just jump over to here. So, okay, that's, yeah, here you go. Here's my build. <laughs> you can see it very nicely. Yeah, so if you guys have seen the show uh, Only Murders in the Building, that's kind of what I wanted to build based off. And obviously the building in that show is based off a real building. The real building being called the Bell Nord and it's in uh, New York City. So that's what I was working on here. I originally started, uh, hang on, let me pull up, uh, here we go. There's like an actual picture of the building. If You can also look it up on Wikipedia and see pictures of it and all that. That's what it looks like. Basically a big square. It takes up an entire city block uh, in real life. And it has a a big courtyard in real life. In, in here, in Sims, it's much smaller. I did originally try building it on a bigger lot, but this is already a massive building. Um, there's so much space in it. So I don't know how well, this will actually play in the end. Uh, I guess we'll find out. So this is where we're at now. It, you know, it took me long enough just to figure out what to do with the walls and stuff because it is just a big rectangle. Um, hang on, let me just do this so the camera doesn't keep moving around. Because it's a big rectangle, you know, doing different windows, wallpapers, uh, trims, freezers, just figuring out all that stuff was... Uh, <laughs> that took me long enough. I think I, record, I recorded part of it, but I didn't record all of it. Um, but I've been recording throughout I, throughout the process, uh, and there will be a video on it probably, I guess, next week at this point. Um, it definitely won't be this week because I'm not done. Anyway, let's go. Well, actually, so what I was thinking, for, because the, hey, Dr. Gluon, thanks for the, the raid, even though I don't think you can really do that on YouTube. Although they kind of have it, I think, but I don't know how it works. It's kind of weird. Anyway, <laughs> let's go for the glue raid. Um, so I was thinking, from what we know about rentals and how they're going to work, the basically you can have obviously you uh, you know everyone can have their own apartments, or you can just rent out individual rooms and do it that way. But it also means you can have shared spaces that can basically be anything. So I was like, we could create uh, the lower floor being like shop fronts. That's kind of what I've done. But you kind of have to think about it in in a way that like what shops would work on a residential lot and I figured we could do a gym so I've built like a little gym area down here um, and now another thing to keep in mind with this build is I've tried not to detail it too much because this build is a like <laughs> you know what I was about to say this <laughs> I was about to say this build is amazing no <laughs> this build is so big if I put a bunch of details in it, it's just gonna lag. So I, I try not to go too far with it. So um, if you're noticing some areas maybe look bl more blank than a regular build, that might be why. Although having said that, I feel like I still detailed it pretty well. But yeah, so I thought we could do a gym. So I've got like a little gym area and like bathroom and shower just here. And that's like a little commercial shop space. And then likewise, a library as well, I figured is a good one. Um, for example, like, when I'm talking about doing shops in the shared space, like it would be nice to have like a bar or something like that, but I don't think that'll work that well because there obviously won't always be a bartender there. 
Um, likewise, it'd be cool to do like the bubble tea store, but again, that won't have someone there. So that's why I was trying to figure out what like shops or community spaces we could do that don't require like a NPC sim. Um, and I have a couple more spaces around the back. So if you have any ideas, do let me know. We gotta, we gotta figure out what to do with these. Um, but anyway, the way it works, so like the actual building, actually, I wonder if I can get a picture of the front of the building. Um, let me search. So yeah, if you've seen the show, Only Murders in the Building, that's where I got the inspiration from. And then obviously I looked up the real building. Um, hang on. It's got this really cool gate and archway. Unfortunately, we can't make it look as cool in The Sims. Hang on, I'm just getting, getting a picture. Can't make it look as cool in The Sims. Well, uh, but here we go. So this is like the entrance gate and all that of the actual building, the bell nod. So I kind of recreated the best I could here. This is kind of the biggest archway I could get. And then I just did extra archways on the side. Um, just to sort of try and recreate the best I could. Oh, and they also have a really nice, look, look at that ceiling in there. It's like really beautiful. Ours is just uh, <laughs> white. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could, I could maybe do some crazy like floor tiles up there or something. I don't know. But anyway, that's like the front of the building. I also, oh, I haven't finished it. I want to put like a, a, some sort of detail or seal above the door there as well. So the idea is, anyway, we have this entrance. So to get to the actual apartments in the building, whoops, you come through this gate or the gate at the back. I don't know if there's going to be a way to like, have like residence only areas. But anyway, whatever, you sort of go through here and then you either have to go through this lobby over this side and there's a stairwell there. Also, I'm really hoping that they include some sort of elevator or even just spiral stairs. Honestly, an elevator would be good because I guess we have them, but they don't really, they don't, do they work? Cause I, have, I I forget what functionality elevators have in the game because I have a mod to make them work. I think I have the mod installed. Do I, or is this actually just how it is now? How was your stream glow on? You are, I saw you're playing the, was it Coral Island? Like got the full release now. Let me see. Mods. Um, yeah, I've got the working elevators mod. So I think that's mod related. I don't know. But yeah, I'm, I'm hoping for like some sort of elevator or some system that we can get up and down a building quicker. Cause <laughs> if you've ever played Sims on a big lot and <laughs> getting from this top apartment to the street is going to take forever. So <laughs> I don't know how well that's going to work, but you know, we got plenty of apartments on the first floor as well. Um, so anyway, yeah, so you either come through this, uh, lobby, which I've kind of left blank right now. I actually don't know if I'm going to do much more in here. Maybe like a bench or, or like a seating or something like that, but you'll see why once I, I start showing the rest. Anyway, we've got this lobby over here, which is the more detailed one, which will probably have like the mailboxes or something in this, in this room. Um, I haven't figured out where the utilities and stuff are going to go. Maybe just a basement or maybe one of these rooms or something. But yeah, this one I did a little bit more work in uh, to get it to work. Uh, laundry room. Yeah, I did think about that, but then I also kind of didn't want to do a laundry room just because. Well, first of all, I don't even I, I guess that would work because yeah, because they, they said, you know, sharing you can basically rent a single bedroom in a house as long as you have a shared kitchen and shared bathrooms. So I guess you could do a shared laundry. I guess we could do a laundromat. Maybe that'd be a good idea. I, as I say, I didn't want to do it just because there'd be a lot of walking back and forth to actually use it if you have the laundry system enabled. That might be one of the things that maybe we put the, you know, washer and dryer in, but we don't put any hampers. So then it doesn't actually function <laughs> because it might be really annoying. Um, I wouldn't do a basement laundry. I, I don't think I need more rooms. <laughs> I guess this is big. This, it's only like half furnished, maybe. Actually, probably a little less than half. I'm a little concerned when it's fully furnished. Uh, but we'll see. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so... Actually, you know what I can show you? So, obviously, this is much smaller than the real building. Hang on, let me pull up. Here's one of the original floor plans of the building. The real life building, obviously. It's actually really cool if you look at it. You can see it better if you go to the Wikipedia page for it. Uh, again, if you just search like the Bell Nord, um, this floor plan is on there and you can really zoom in. Um, but it's really cool. So you can actually see, I don't know if, uh, I can't really point 
with a mouse or anything on it, which is kind of annoying. But there's multiple different stairwells. There's not really big communal hallways anywhere in the building, so the white areas are like the shared uh, spaces, basically. So there's a bunch of like different uh, stairwells or elevator shafts around the building. Um, and then the different colors, orange and yellow, are different apartments. So that's how it works in the real building. Now again, obviously ours is much smaller <laughs> than that. Again, I, I did actually originally start on a 50 by 40 lot and I was like, this is too big. <laughs> I was like, this is way too big. So we're actually on a 30 by 30, which I think is a decent size. It's still big in Sims. And I think it means you could probably put it in a lot of places. So I think it will work. Um, all right, so anyway, having shown you the floor plan, uh, moving up, this is our first floor. And the way I've done it, as you saw, we have stairs in one corner and stairs in the other corner. So then we have like communal space, like lobby here. Uh, and then one over here. And they're both different shapes and different orientations to allow for different layouts of the apartments. Um, and each of the apartments are different sizes, uh, different styles. I mean, very similar styles, I would say. You know, they all have like the dark flooring, uh, but they've got different flooring in each of them. Maybe because uh, these are the ones I've already done. Maybe the next set will, will change up a little bit more. Uh, so we've got, I'll give you a quick, little, quick little tour. So there's a little lobby here. And I've tried to keep the, the layouts, I guess, more, well, older, you know. I wouldn't say that they're faithfully traditional floor plans at all, but they're definitely not like a super new floor plan. So you actually come into this little foyer area, for example, in this one, and there's a little bathroom in here. And again, if you're looking at the walls here, and I am too, they do look blank. I, you know, I'll give you that. But like I said, I'm trying to keep the furnishing relatively pared back. Also, this is supposed to be a cheaper apartment, so you know, we've got the cheaper couches and, and that kind of stuff. Although, having said that, I think the kitchen's quite expensive. I also kind of went for a, like, almost Seinfeld-inspired kitchen with the color. It was kind of fun. So there's that one there, and then this has like a little bedroom, almost bedroom foyer with like the little dressing area and the bedroom through there. And I really like having a look through, hang on to the wall, all the way up into like the courtyard area. I think that's so cool, like seeing the rest of the building through the window. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's through there. So yeah, that's that. So that's one of the little apartments that I've done. And then there's another, this, another apartment, a similar size, it's slightly bigger as you can see. There's a bit further than this one. Uh, similar layout with the foyer and the bathroom and the kitchen here. This kitchen's more enclosed. And then it has two bedrooms instead of one. And I actually put the, the doors in like a little hallway kind of thing. Um, I love the Seinfeld apartment for some reason. It's not even the Seinfeld apartment, it's just the kitchen. But yeah, I don't know, I, I, <laughs> I really like the kitchen in this one. It was kind of fun. Um, yeah, so that's these two apartments. So you can only access these apartments from this side of the building. So you're like, you'd have to come through this lobby to get to these two. And then over this side in the other lobby, which has a different, you know, layout and it's sort of on the interior rather than the exterior. We have a couple of apartments. Actually, I'll show you this one first because it's empty. I'm leaving this apartment empty on purpose. Uh, for a couple of reasons, because it saves me time, because <laughs> it's all big, but also because I believe, at least from what they shared, six is the maximum number of apartments you can do without using cheats. You can do more, at least it sounds like you can, it seems like they, um, they alluded to that. Uh, so this apartment, I mean, this building has seven apartments, so I just left this one blank. Um, and then we have two bigger ones up here and then we have like a big penthouse apartment. So this one's blank, but I had kind of had fun doing the floor plan on this. So this is the little foyer. And then we have like a little bedroom straight here through from the foyer. And then we have like a long, thin living space, which I kind of liked. So I think that, I mean, it would be fun to furnish this one, but not doing it now. And then the kitchen area is back here through those doors, which I guess you do like dining here, maybe living there. And then, there's another little hallway at the other end with two bedrooms and another bathroom. So this is a three bedroom apartment uh, through here. And yeah, <laughs> I saw someone point out in chat, yeah, the railings. God, I don't know, whatever they did to the railings, they just broke them. It's so annoying. There's nothing I can do about it. Um, the game just decides that it doesn't want to put railings there. So just just ignore the, the fact that the railings are missing. At some point they'll fix it. It'll go back to normal. There's nothing I can do about it now. And to be honest, I didn't want to change the stairs to take up more space. I like them being stacked like this, so that's just the way it is. <laughs> it's annoying, but we're just going to ignore it, okay? 
Um, and then, yeah, so this apartment is the other, other larger one on this floor that I furnished. The little foyer, this one's got a much different layout, you know, we come through. There's an enclosed dining area just here. And then there's like a longer kitchen that's a little bit newer, I guess. The, you know, the flooring and the walls are still with the Art Deco vibe, but... Well, and the stove is kind of old, but, you know, it looks a little bit fresher and a little bit brighter. So maybe they've painted the cabinets or something. Uh, then little living space through here. Big fireplace. I don't know with the fireplace so far. I probably should do more or less. Maybe the upstairs ones. The problem is these ones are quite small. I didn't really have room to do fireplaces. Uh, and then this one has two bedrooms through this little hallway at the end, which I kind of like having a mirror there and a little bathroom there. And that's that. And then we've got to do the rest. Um, you might have noticed as well, there's these little areas uh, on different floors. That's like <laughs> secret passageways from the green apartment. Because <laughs> in the um, Only Murders in the Building show, if you haven't seen it, uh, part of the lore of the, the Arconia, as it's called in the show, is there was like old, you, you, they like sort of went through the walls at one point and there's like secret passageways. There's like a secret elevator as well, I think it's somewhere. So I thought it'd be fun for the uh, the penthouse apartment to have like these little secret hallways. Uh, I couldn't do too many because a lot's not super big, um, but you can see it made this yellow apartment have like a weird layout, which I think might be kind of fun to figure out a layout for this. I don't know, I guess we'll see. And then down here, it actually is in between these two apartments. So I thought we could do, we could do something with that. Actually, is there a, hang on, we need to do, I need like, hang on, if I move, <laughs> wait, this, maybe it's not the best room. This room, uh, what I want to do, so <laughs> in the, oh yeah, this, <laughs> this, we need like a little grate. Can we do like, oh, if I do this here and then put like a picture on top of it, that's what we needed. <laughs> So there's like a little, it's not for spying. It's just because the building is old and it has secret passageways, okay? Just so you know, but it could be used that way for storytelling purposes. Look at that, not quite big enough. <laughs> Although the person who ever lived in this apartment would definitely know it's there because they would have moved in and put the picture up, but that's not the point. Um... Yeah, bookcase door. But I don't want to have door. I, so I don't. So this, the green is the apartment from upstairs. I don't really want a door from another apartment into someone else's apartment. That's not really the point. But down here they have like a little exit door on both sides of the building. Look, it's fun little passageway, but it's not about sneaking into apartments. Hmm. Got to find a picture big enough. That's kind of big enough. I have to move it a little higher. There you go. Beautiful. Can't even tell there's anything there. <laughs> so silly. I did consider the uh, the mirror from uh, Get to Work, but it's huge. Oh, maybe we could maybe do it in here, in this room that's not furnished. You know, this is a nice bedroom bedroom mirror. Nothing weird about it. Okay. Here we go. There we go in here. <laughs> okay. Well, that's creepy. See, it's not supposed to be creepy. It's just supposed to be a fun little detail. But you know what? We'll do it. Whatevs. There's no one living here anyway. You can remove that. Um, all right. So, well, for this stream, I want to at least figure out the floor plan of these two apartments. Um, maybe this one. I don't know. You know, there's a lot of work to do on this. So. The way I have sort of set this up so far is they actually have a door on both sides because there's obviously there's the two different stairwells. And only this one over here goes all the way up to the green apartment. This one does come up to these two, and obviously these two uh, access to the other. There's four apartments on this floor, so they make sense there. Uh, but I figured we should probably have a door on both sides, because, I don't know, if you can only go this way, this is like at the back of the building, it'd be maybe kind of annoying. So it might be useful to have a door on both sides. Oh, good. Good to see that city living is working nicely over there. Is anyone going to buy high school years EP only to have the, yeah, actually, to only have the flooring from this? Yeah, a lot of the flooring I'm using is high school years. And actually all the stairs are high school years too. And actually that wallpaper too. There's a lot of, actually, you know what? A lot of the outside is high school years as well. I think this is, yes, and this brick here. And that one's university, and I think the windows are university. So yeah, a lot of high school years stuff in here. It was very good for Art Deco. 
Oh, and the lights actually as well. We've got a lot of those lights in around the place. Anyway, let's have a look. So I'm thinking these are at least going to be three bedroom apartments. Maybe four. It de kind of depends. I guess I got to figure out which is the main entrance. Probably this side's going to be the main entrance just because it's closer to the front. I might move the door maybe to here. So a lot of these buildings had, um, you know, foyers, which I guess makes sense with the bigger apartment. Uh, they, although my little ones had the foyers as well, which I quite liked, but now this one's bigger, so we can definitely fit a bigger one. I wonder if we could do... Hmm, what would this be, though? It's kind of off the foyer. I guess that could be a parlor, because that was another thing. If we have a look back at the floor plan... Whoops. I don't know if you can see it, unless you like... You can... If you're on mobile, you can actually... I think you can pinch to zoom. I don't know if that works on live streams, but if you can, you can do that. And I'll, pretty much, I think, at least all the... Actually, I think all of them... I can't even see the floor plan, it's too small for me, hang on. Yeah, there's like, you have the parlor and then the dining room. Um, and then there's a large foyer and a hallway. I guess the parlor is more like the living room anyway, it's not really a separate room. Uh, do some of them have secondary ones? Or are they, they're kind of all... Oh, so actually, the bigger apartment has a library and a parlor. And then also a dining room, okay. So, maybe we can sort of use that. And again, like, just because it's like a library or a parlor, you know, this is... Obviously, we're building this in modern modern day Sims, so it could be whatever we want. But I guess it could make sense that maybe this was like a library and then we had like a parlor and a dining room over here. You know what? I think this actually might be good for a kitchen. And if you see on the old floor plans, it's actually really interesting because the building is quite... I don't know what it's like today, but that was obviously the original floor plan. They actually had separate staircases for where the servants would enter, like the apartment. And the kitchen is actually behind the... There's like a hallway and then the kitchen. And then there's like servants' quarters back there. So I don't think, you know, whoever was there would actually enter the kitchen area. I'm just wondering how this is going to work the best way. So it's actually kind of interesting that... Um, actually, this could be a hall here. This is such a weird space. What am I doing with this? Because it's just a big... I might need to move this little secret hallway thing. You know what, if I move it this way, hang on. Give me a bit more space here. <laughs> what is this? Hmm. Yeah, so the, the original floor plan, that there was actually, you know, separate entrances for where the servants would go and then have their own, like, section in the apartment that was, like, separate from the rest. Kind of interesting. So in that sense, we could tuck the kitchen away. Okay, yeah, this is not going to work. This is why... It was taking me a while, because it's not obviously this will be, but even these floor plans took a while to figure out. So, hmm. This is like three wide, it's kind of... I mean, I guess it, it has to be a hallway, it can't really be anything else. If I go, if I leave this secret passageway where it is. Like, this has to be a hallway. And then this could be, this could be like, you know, living room, or something, because it's on the corner, so it's actually a very nice space. Especially this room, looking over the water and the bridge. So we could use that as a living room, that's a hallway. And then maybe there's like kitchen, dining, library, or another sitting room. And then bedrooms are down this end. But I don't know if we can even fit that many bedrooms in here now. Music's a little loud, we can go down a little bit. I think it's some songs are a bit louder. I'll turn it down a bit. Um... Well, this door doesn't have to be there. Make that a bit smaller. Let me just see. So I, I still want like a foyer on this end. I think this has to be a bit smaller though. And we have to be careful where we join walls because of these windows. They're not, you know, evenly on the grid. It's just how it is. I'm thinking, what if we did like... Oops. <laughs> this secret passageway thing. I get, I, look, this doesn't have to say like that. I just thought it'd be fun to have a wacky... Passageway in the middle of this apartment. <laughs> um, hmm. This is definitely a waste of space, but I guess we could do... Like, this doesn't have to just be a hole. We could do, like, a chess table or something in there. We could put something in there. Yeah, our study area, someone said in chat as well, that kind of stuff. Three tile wide space, a kitchen. Do you mean this space? Because I think that's what I'm going to do. Because I don't... Oh, do you mean, like, make that a galley kitchen? Because I don't really want to do that. Because... 
If we're, I, I want to base it sort of on how the building would have been built, where the kitchen was kind of more tucked away than on show. But I guess, you know, could have been renovated. We could do... So, we could do... Maybe this could have been closed off at some point, but maybe now it's open kind of like this. So we could have a kitchen in here and then like almost an open kind of dining area. With potential, although that's kind of awkward having that there. Uh, so I was thinking we could do one bathroom over here, the bedroom. Someone was asking about the bathroom. I just hadn't built it yet. It's in my head. So I think we could do like a bedroom here, for example, bedroom here, bedroom there. And so there's a bathroom there, it would be shared. And we could do another bathroom somewhere else, probably. Probably over here, we got a lot of space. We could probably do one here, and then that could still be like a library area. They're not the biggest bathrooms, but you know. There's, the thing is, the other thing is, because this building is quite thin. <laughs> we have what, seven tiles wide? Um, move the passageway one close, one tile closer to the outside, the kitchen is bigger. Yeah, well, I didn't think about that, but then. We could. I guess it would then line up with that all over there, which actually, if I'm going to do that, I'd probably also close that off. Okay, you know, we're, we're, we're noodling on this, we're noodling. We do have a very long hallway here though. Uh, is that, I mean, I guess there's not much we can do about that. We have to have a hallway. Um, yeah. Though the thing is, this room is much bigger, which I would probably prefer that, uh, the bigger room to be a sitting room rather than dining. Maybe, what if the kitchen, no, that's a nice room with the corner. I don't want the kitchen there. So yeah, uh, the show Only Murders in the Building features this, well, not this building, obviously, the building I'm inspired by in it. And the real building in real life is called the Belnord, um, which is this building here. You know, a real life building in New York, it takes up an, I, well, in the show, they say it takes up an entire city block. I think it does in real life too. I didn't fact check that detail. But yeah, space off this building. Here's an original floor plan of the building. You know, it goes all the way around. I think it is actually, because on the floor plan, yeah, it lists all four streets or roads around it. Um, so we're basing a building off of that. Um, and at the moment, we're just trying to figure out an apartment here, the yellow apartment. I don't, hmm. Thing is, we're, we're wasting so much space on hallways, which I don't like. What if I change this? What if I have a smaller foyer, then this could be a bathroom, then we don't need a bathroom over here. Yeah, that makes more sense, because then this whole room can be bigger. Then we can do that, because then, yeah, I just do, hang on, let me grab. So I'm using these archways throughout the building. So one there and one there. And then we'd have, you know, that's a little bathroom there. That makes sense. So then that's like a sitting room, library, parlor, etc. Then maybe we just do a small kitchen like I was doing down here. Like these are like, not these ones. This is like a three by three kitchen there and there. The other one, oh, these are, that's so big though, these two kitchens. I kind of feel bad for just having a small kitchen. What's with the weird ladder area? That's the secret passageways from the green apartment, which I guess actually doesn't need to be in here. We can probably open it up and figure out the layout later. Yeah, the green penthouse apartment has sweet secret passageways through the building. Goes all the way down. <laughs> so they can get down to the street from there. Um, uh, I'm okay, Daly. Thank you for offering. Uh, so I, I think kitchen... Maybe we do just move this. As Yeah, I think we just need to do this. Because then we can have a bigger kitchen area there. This just turns into a hallway. Like this. And then obviously this is a hallway as well. All the way up to this foyer over there. So then we have a bathroom. Hang on, let me get some more of these lights around. Okay. All right, I think this is working better. So we got three bedrooms here. Bathroom there, bathroom there. Kitchen, dining. This is sitting room, library, parlor, and then another sitting room here. It could even, you could even turn it into another bedroom, but I kind of want... Actually, you know what, maybe... It... Hmm, maybe that would be better. We could do a bedroom maybe at that end and remove one of the bedrooms here. Hmm, that might be a better idea. Because otherwise, we, we could have a really nice big bedroom over this side. 
And then this bathroom could actually just be attached to that bedroom, maybe, rather. And then if we turn this into another... Hang on, let me... Okay, actually, the problem with scaling this... Differently... Hmm. Because I can't just move the wall there because there's a window there. So the wall kind of has to be there or here. I guess we could do a smaller bedroom. It doesn't have to be massive. So if we do this... Okay. Then we have two, like, living areas next to each other. So then it's like the library and the parlor, which I think makes more sense. Because if you look at the floor plan here, when you zoom in on some areas, usually if there's like an extra sitting area, it's next to the other one. So then we have a bigger living space here. And then the, all three living spaces are sort of next to each other. So we have two bedrooms over here and then one bedroom over there. That makes sense. What do we think of that? about that? So hang on. You know what? To make it clearer, because I know I'm sort of... Sometimes I just, you know, brush over stuff really quick. So bedroom, bedroom... Bedroom, it's obviously a double bed, but I can't be bothered. And then we're gonna do... It's a bathroom there, bathroom here. And then we got sitting area here. And then also here, but you know, it won't just be another living room, but just for demonstration, that's what that is. And then kitchen is like, you know, here somewhere. I don't know exactly. <laughs> Beautiful, look at that, look at that, that looks great. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you can see now. <laughs> it was a surprise, okay? I didn't want you guys to see too soon. It's okay. I'm just placing down ugly items. It's fine. All right. So, now... Hopefully, th this will just illustrate what room is what. Okay? That's the idea. So, we've got... We can, we can kind of see it all here. Here we go. So, bedroom here, bedroom there, bathroom here, hallway living areas through to the kitchen dining another bathroom there which will probably be an ensuite to this bedroom i guess we probably wouldn't have that archway there and then like main bedroom there it might not be an ensuite because otherwise if you're like here and you want to go to the toilet you have to literally walk to the other side of the house so i think i might just have that as like a, a bathroom off the hallway so i think that'll work which is going to be the main entrance i mean they're both going to be entrances we have a door on both sides over here and over here so it can go in whatever. I, I don't know how it's going to work in for rent. Like, obviously you can, you know, make this one unit, but I, I don't know if they'll have like a set front door option. I, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> um, the left foyer hall, could that wall be in line with the bathroom? Feels like it'd be more logical. Wait, the left foyer wall. Oh, you mean like this? Well, that makes the bathroom a lot smaller. Because then it's only a two by two. But I wanted like at least, I wanted a bigger, and also this wall here can't move because otherwise it, I think it cuts the window there. Yeah, it will, oh wait, actually, is it? Oh wait, no, hang on. Why is half the unit yellow and the rest rustic? It's all yellow. That's a different apartment. So this yellow is one apartment, orange is one, green is one. And then, these used to have colors, but obviously I've already done it. Uh, yes, I think this didn't it go into the window, or is it okay? Actually, that might be okay. It's kind of the same. It cuts off a little bit more. I don't think either of them is better or worse, but we could do that. Because most of my foyers are 2 by 3 It's a, it doesn't really, it, it's okay. I mean, I don't know, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Anyway, I think this is good. I think this will work. I think with the kitchen though, I'd still probably want it walled. Not like fully walled. I think I want, but I think I want it like there. Also, this is a huge space. This is way too big for dining. <laughs> Maybe we could do dining and also have like a piano or something in here, make it like fancy, you know? Cause like this is, this is bigger than the living rooms. <laughs> Uh, hmm. Yeah, this is massive. We kind of need to do something else with it. Yeah, I was thinking we could just do like this. Maybe. I don't know. We'll have to play around with that. Third, we, third bathroom. Fireplaces, yeah. Fireplaces have to go on uh, internal walls. So we could probably do one here in this room. It'd be nice. And maybe one here? I don't think there's really anywhere else it could go. Do 
Use a really long dining table to make it really big. I mean, I'll, I'll use like a, I'll use a three tile table at least. It won't be two, but that's just for demonstration. But yeah, this room is massive. Definitely kind of bigger than I thought. I think that's good though. I think that'll work. Anyway, that's fine. A butler's pantry. Uh, I won't. I don't want to. No. <laughs> Basically, no. I kind of want to keep all these simple, like I said, because we're doing like this build is so big. I don't want to add too much detail, like an extra rooms that we don't need to, if that makes sense. But let's have a look. Hello? That was weird. I like, couldn't, I was like clicking the wall to them, I couldn't get to the walls. Oh, I was scrolled down. <laughs> I didn't realize I was scrolled down. All right. So, let's have a look at this apartment. This one's different, probably, well, maybe easier, because we don't have the weird thing in the middle of it. Uh, but let's see what we can figure out with the layout here. But this, actually, this is kind of weird. Because we've got, oh, I guess it's kind of like these ones, isn't it? Where I had like the, you know, the foyer that way in a bathroom. Which actually, I think is a pretty good layout. Although, actually, it doesn't, oh, so that same layout doesn't really work here. Because you can see I'm using different windows. So I guess it kind of does, but it sort of just cuts the window, which I guess is fine. But yeah, we could do the same sort of thing we did below. Where I have a foyer bathroom. I think that works well. And then I guess over here, actually that works well. We could do foyer here. I could also move the door, but then that could easily be a bathroom. Yeah, I just kind of like putting bathrooms where the doors, I don't know. It's easy because it's kind of, we get these weird spaces. Uh, What is the Belford? It is the, no, the Belnord. Sorry, I read <laughs> for it Belford, but it's called the Belnord. This building in New York, we're building a building inspired by that in Sims. So if we go here. So when the Sims 4 4 rent comes out, we can rent in this building. I don't know how laggy it's going to be <laughs> or how buggy it's going to be. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out together. But right now we're just figuring out apartment units and floor plans. Maybe two story apartments. Uh, no, I think that'd be annoying. Look, I honestly think I, well, I don't know, but I think this will probably actually be an annoying building to play in because, because it is so big. Um, and I think having a two floor apartment would also be annoying in this particular building. <laughs> so I don't want to do that. Oh, so let's have a look. I would love a corner living room. I mean, I think that's just going to be like really nice to have that space. Have like a big corner section there as like one big room. I think that'd be awesome. So let's try and do that. Can I then fit a hallway just here? Oh, wait, that's really thin. <laughs> that's the problem. It's like we can't really, I guess it has to be like another room that you go through, right? Like this has to be a room that you enter to get to this room rather than a hallway. Because then we just end up, or we have like the whole way here, and then do it that way. Hmm. That's the problem with these <laughs> long, thin apartments. All right, bedroom-wise, though, what can we do? If we had a hallway, a big, long hallway there, then we have this space for bedrooms, right? Could do those, but then it's... I mean, that works. I don't know if I like that. Kind of the same sort of thing we did over there. I do like this space. I might need to make it smaller though. Ah, oh, the picture. I should put an automatic timer to turn it off. It's okay. I mean, you're not really missing anything, to be honest. Uh, I read chat. I just also take a while to read it. And there's also delay. I mean, chat is still saying the picture's there, so... I feel like I'm reading it right away. You know, I am reading chat. <laughs> Um, okay, let me have a look. So, let me just do some lights here. You know, we've got to start somewhere. I think the hardest bit about doing any build, not just this one, is actually just doing something. And then we can figure out from there. This room is probably too big. I really like it, but it's probably too big. So, maybe we downsize a bit. If I, if I take it back in line with the wall there, that sort of lines up with both halves, that gives us a lot more space to do another room. Which actually could then potentially be 
Well, actually, we could do, hang on, I'm thinking, what if we do kitchen sort of here, so it's in the same sort of spot as these other apartments, which I think logically makes sense. Like, you would, you know, when you originally built this building, having all the services, like plumbing and all that, in a line between the apartments makes sense. Like, we got a bathroom there, have one here. So that kind of makes sense. Then we could then, then we could then, mm -hmm. <laughs> now then we could turn this into dining. Maybe a little thinner, I think it's too big. Okay. Alrighty, alrighty. Then that is weird. I don't like that. <laughs> I guess, maybe we should do a, let's try to, what if we did a smaller bathroom? A two by two bathroom. So it's more like a powder room. Hi, Dally. Dally's come to visit. Yeah. How many floors? This is going to be four floors, because that's all you can do. I'm not going to do basement floors. Um, did you want to... Hi. Yay! Hi, Deli. Hi. Hey, chat. Hello, friends. How cool is this? He's live oh. at last. If you come in... There we go. I was live the other day mm -hmm. with the trailer reaction. That was fun. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, it's your I got live a era. Hey, oh, there's so many nice <laughs> my live, My live era. Your live era. Do you have any thoughts on the floor plans that I've been doing? Um, I've been cooking at the same time. I think this one works. I mean, that looks really good. I feel like you're just saying that. No, it does <laughs> look really good. I think it's really good that there's windows on both sides. Mm -hmm. It makes it a lot easier. Why would that not be good? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I just said, I feel like you're saying it. So, I don't know if you saw any of this one yet. I'm trying to figure out. Mm. So, I'm thinking, well, I wanted to do a living room in the corner because I think that's cool. I mean, like the corner living area. And then I was thinking maybe like kitchen and dining here because it's sort of in line with the, oops, the lower apartment, kitchen, dining, mm, bathroom. So, they sense with similar plumbing. spot. Yeah, yeah. So, the, but then it's kind of like, well, look at this. what is this spot? I guess it's just more hallway. Just a well, bigger foyer, maybe. Maybe? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Um, yeah, because that's the entrance, so you can't really. Yeah, well, so we have two entrances. There's one over this side and one over this side. Well, you could do a line of counters that could be a little laundry exit. Hmm. But then again, do you want to load up with lots of items in a big room? No, no, no. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Because I was like, I don't know if I want to do that. Also, that's so true. On Wednesdays, we wear pink. Well, I wear My pink. My pink is in the bedroom. <laughs> Get in, loser. We're going shopping. <laughs> we're going building in Sims. <laughs> um, I do have one major issue with this, though. With the floor plan or the entire building? Well, this floor plan situation right now. With this apartment? Yes. Oh, okay, good. And the yellow one. Oh, uh, what? Well, what's with the massive saucer lights? You should use the little ones. Well, I can they, barely see the building. Because it's easier them. to pick them up later on. Because if you oh. if you do a lot of little ones, you, then you're like, oh, I'm gonna try and click that. <sighs> okay. See, I always use the little ones so I can see more clearly. Yeah, that's the, okay. We're all I different. use the big ones to see more clearly and then easily delete them. Yeah. Well, welcome, Jimmy, for to the big lot. Trust me, when you do a build this big, you need to be able to easily adjust the lights. <laughs> mm. I think both of our ways have good points. So it's whichever you prefer. Well, this She's way, a cool mom, not a regular mom. This way is easier for this particular building. Because mm. I, mean, I need to be so zoomed out, so yeah. trying to get the little lights. Okay. Yeah, so kitchen, dining. I don't know what this is. Living room. Formal. Dining or formal living. But then we have like such a little space of bedrooms, so it's mm. kind of like then what? Well, this is two bedrooms. Well, why don't you turn that into a hallway and have an office? Could do. Potential. Yeah. And may and or then like you could bedroom. open up those walls so that goes all the way through. Uh, I probably won't do that, but I'll do I do this. That's oh, what okay. I've been doing, just because it sort of fits with the building more. Yeah. Okay. And then also here. I'm so excited for Sims Sims 4 4 rent, rent. Yeah, the Sims 4 4 4 rent is gonna. Be, I am pretty excited. Sims, Sims 4, I don't know 4, if you can tell rent. we're very excited because that's all the videos we're doing. Yeah, that's that like it's so funny. Posting videos and we're like making an apartment. Yeah, making an apartment. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. So well, uh, well, if that's like an office or something, then we only have two bedrooms. Is mm. the problem? Oh, well, and into a bedroom. Hmm. I don't know. Well, maybe this works then. So, either office or a bedroom, kitchen, dining, living, big mm -hmm. hall, another bathroom over there. Mm -hmm. 
I think that works. I think it works. I think the harder floor one is gonna be this one. That's... Because <laughs> it's a big donut. Part of me is like afraid you're gonna be like, Deli, wanna furnish my massive apartment? <laughs> that's how we met. <laughs> Yeah, do you, do, you wanna, do you wanna do this one? No, I'm good. I'll leave this one for you. No, I'm fine. <laughs> we could do a collab. Could do. Instructing Deli to decorate my apartment. No, then people will be like, why are you so Oops. mean to her? <laughs> Bedroom? Oh. Use a placeholder. I learned it from you. You use placeholder mm -hmm. items. That's the way to This go. room's a bit sad. There's like no light in it. Maybe Deli wants a chair. Oh, no, I'm about to. Well, no, Deli's. Um, are you cooking at the moment? Yeah, I'm about to. Making a delicious dinner. I'm making apricot chicken mm. again. But with fresh apricots, I'm very excited. Mmm. See how it turns out. Mmm, kimchi. Bathroom. Mm. Oh. Uh, bathroom. <laughs> Toilet in the middle of the room. Yeah, I learned from you. I just put items in to figure well, out. Yeah, I actually put them more in yeah, but I'm the just, spot of where they're going to go. Yeah, that is where they're going to go. That's where I'm just going to go. There's a bathroom, living room. I learnt from you, this is how you do it. Um, <laughs> you've kind of learnt, you're getting there. There you go, dining room. It's also just so I can be like, okay. You picked a table you can barely see. Yeah, no, oh, that's that's why I know, Yeah, I did that and I was like, I can't see. Um, so I, I think this one works. But it could either be a three bedroom or a two bedroom if you change one of those rooms into something yeah. else. It, it's versatile, which we love. Which we love. Which we love. This student has not surpassed the master. <laughs> That's uh, true. Now the big daddy of apartments. I really wish we had diagonal of these floor tiles, but I couldn't do that. Mm. So this, I, I did a different lobby up here because I, when I originally had the same layout as this one with the square, it meant if you were on this side of the apartment wanted to get there, you had to like walk all the way around. I was like, that's a bit silly. Mm. But it also means we have this weird thing, which I don't know if I like. Well, I'm excited to watch this part. So no. I'm going to go back to the kitchen and watch. This one sucks. I'm excited to see what he does. Mm. <laughs> it's like the raccoon hands. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, enjoy. I'll be back. Okay. Maybe in a little while. Mm. Cool. All right. Well, this apartment this is the big one. I mean, I guess the question is, do we want it to be big with many bedrooms or just big with like big bedroom and then like big other rooms? That's the question. And also, I don't know what this entrance is. Maybe this should just be squared. I th honestly, I think the diagonals are probably gonna make this way harder. So I'm just gonna square it off. I think the diagonals were a mistake. <laughs> I already regret them. So let me, uh, let me change this. There we go. I'm gonna change the floor tiles and stuff. Uh, oh, I need the other, I need the inner corner. This one, there we go. Uh, that one. And I need this one again. And I can't do a diagonal, so we're just using the different tile. Actually, that looks bad. I'll just change it to, um, blank one. Nope, not that one. Oh, that, wait, can I just do this? Hang on, that'll look better. Yeah, yeah, that that's better. That'll do. Um, we can't do restaurants because this is going to be a residential lot. So a restaurant wouldn't do anything. It's the same reason like the shops that we added down the bottom are commercial spaces that don't need an NPC. That's what we did. All right, so that's fine, because then, okay, that'll be an easy entrance, and we can easily have, like, a hall, you know, like that, and then a big room here. I mean, I don't know if doing a hall is really worth it, and rather just doing it like this and just having a huge room. Can we do, should we do a bowling alley? Oh, my God. I did a bowling alley up here on top of the other apartment. <laughs> well, I think doing a big room kind of makes sense. We've got to have some big rooms in here. Uh, now... One thing, you know what I'm gonna do is hit save. One thing I think I need to change, I think I need to flip this building 180 degrees because this being the entrance at the back, I think is super annoying. That means you have to go to the back of the building to go up. Although you kind of have to go to the same distance. You know what, no, it makes no difference because to get to these stairs, you also have to go all the way through here and then around. 
that one you have to go in and up. And I think it's the same distance. So actually, you know what? It makes no difference. Ballroom of the Grand Piano. Maybe that can be, oh, you know what? Actually, can we do, oh. Do like a curved roof on this thing. That'd be cool. But make it like not, I don't want it to overhang the edge because I, I actually don't want to see this from ground. But if we did it like this, and then like this, maybe make it a little smaller. Let me do like, <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, that's great. Awesome. <laughs> that works. It's got to think of this flooring here because of the floor trim. There we go. What does this look like? This could be kind of cool. Get rid of those fences. Okay. <laughs> okay. Didn't really do what I wanted. Uh, okay. Sorry, we can we can put it back. Gotta do this. Not sure why this doesn't. Oh, I think I changed the size of the building at a certain point, and I, I didn't change the roof flooring. Because the building, you can see actually where this is is where the building used to be. The courtyard used to be a bit bigger, but I found it that made the interior way too small, so I had to change it. Anyway, let me just. Um, in that flooring section. Okay, there we go. Now, I actually need to make this a little smaller, I think, because there's an overhang of flooring on the outside. That's kind of cool. Ooh. What does this look like? Whoa. <laughs> Sorry, the camera's really fast. That's kind of cool. I think you got to do some columns or something in here as well, but this could be a cool room. All right, I like that. I don't know exactly what it's going to be. Either just a ballroom, parlor, grand piano, dining, maybe something like that. And then at least, yeah, from here, like from ground floor, you don't see it. I don't I don't want to see like a roof sticking up and over it. And I don't think it's too obtrusive on the roof either. All right. <laughs> a giant Max portrait. OK, so that takes up that bit of the building. Good. Next bit. <laughs> well, I think kitchen, we could probably maybe tuck it in over here somewhere. The question is, do we have like a mod, not modern, but like modern in the sense, like a renovated floor plan. So the kitchen is more in a part of the apartment rather than sort of tucked away. Like, do we want it more visible? I guess I should say, because we could do that. We could have like a, a big kitchen space. You come through here and it's like in here. And then <laughs> that ladder goes to our secret, uh, <laughs> Sick it all That might need a move. We could put it over here somewhere as well if it needs to. Actually, you know what? I could do. Hang on. I could rotate it. Oh, wait. Can, can you. Oh, you can come from that side. Okay. We could do it like this. And then have like a little door here somewhere. <laughs> yeah. When I say modern, I don't mean like. It's not going to be a modern looking kitchen. I just mean it in, in the sense that. In the original, and I'm going to remember to turn this off the screen. In the original floor plan here, this is based on the real building. If you have a look, I'm going to see if I can zoom in a bit. Let me find one, uh, which is a good example. Okay, okay, here we go. Oh, I moved something else here. Let me look that here. In the corner, whoop, don't mind me, I'm disappearing behind. Whoop, hang on, a little bigger. A little, whoop, there we go. All right. So in the bottom left, which I can't point to in any way, shape or form because you can't see my mouse. But do you see the very bottom left, it says parlor above it is dining room. Then there's actually like a pantry hallway in between and then the kitchen is behind it. That's like the original layout of this kind of building. And then even behind the kitchen, there's actually servants quarters and a service hallway completely separate from where, you know, I guess the owner of the apartment would go. So when I'm saying we're going to do like a modern, modern layout, I mean, we're not going to tuck the kitchen away in a back room somewhere. I think having it more part of like having a kitchen in here somewhere and then like go through the dining area would be nice. Like maybe, can I do, no, I can't do that. I can do that. Is that big enough? Or do I... I guess I got to find a good balance between big but not too big. 
because, uh, you know, it's kind of hard to tell scale. I think I need to put some, let me get some items up here. Where's that uh, larger table? So I, this is a good sized dining room. Like we could have a dining room here, maybe like a fireplace on one of these walls. The kitchen through here, I think. Can we do, uh, where is the, I was gonna say apartment pillar, no. Maybe that, is that? No, that's too much. That's maybe too much. And the other one. The high school years one. This one. Because that's what I was using downstairs. I did this. And then, oh, we don't really have a. Maybe, I guess probably this is the best one. What the heck? <laughs> that's, I guess what's happening, we've got a freeze on the outside of the building. <laughs> but I guess the... I didn't know it did that. I guess the spandrels go below the freeze. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I was gonna do this. So yeah, we have it sort of open like that. Not necessarily looking like this. This is just a plan. Dining. Uh, I want a... What am I looking for? Fireplace. Fireplace. Um, I can't really go there, so I guess I was going to put it on this wall, but I can't do that now. I guess I'd have to go off-center somewhere. I mean, it can go there, I just have to then do have a door there. That I don't really like. Maybe we need, maybe there's a smaller fireplace. What about just this one? Because then that gives more breathing room to putting a door in there or something. But this kitchen is huge, maybe I need to move this wall to here. Um, so the, most of the interior in this building, I have already built, I, I built it before this stream. Um, hang on, you know what, okay. oh, is that gonna mess the, oh, it's gonna mess the walls up. Whatever, I'm gonna move the wall here and get rid of this. You get the idea. Yeah, so it's gonna be a video probably next week. Um, this stream, I'm kind of just trying to work out the floor plans of the remaining apartments because it's so dang big and having, you know, and just hanging out, and it's taking me so long, so I was like, be nice to hang out and also get feedback on what we're doing. Anyway, this gives us more room, so maybe we could even do it this way and, and then the kitchen would be like here somewhere, maybe like an island here. I don't know about this, that would probably change to a way that works better. Uh, and then this is like a hallway and whatever. Okay, I kind of like that. And then this, that means this can be left to like a living room, like a big living room. Like what if we did this? That's nice. Actually, that's like a kind of a good Although that's where the bookcase is. Bookcase. And there's a secret bookcase there. I think that works. Might be awkward with the kitchen there. I guess I'll have, I'll have to find out when I do it. And then this is like, I guess the ballroom, entertainment space, maybe, you know, piano, dance floor, something like that. Bar probably in there. Which means that we're left with this space. Oh my gosh, <laughs> so much room for like, uh, bedrooms and stuff. Now, I think a bedroom on the corner is kind of, that's what we gotta do. So if I leave room for a hallway here, we could do a big bedroom. Is that big enough? Like, when I say big bedroom, like I want a big bedroom. Does that look small? I know like, it's big, but like, is it big enough? You know what I mean? <laughs> it's pretty big. Well, it won't just be the bedroom. We'll do like a walk-in wardrobe as well, of course. And a bathroom. Maybe maybe it's too big. No, but then that's too small. <laughs> Not doing chamber pots. <laughs> Don't forget chamber pots. Oh dear. I think actually that's a that's a good size. I like that. And then we do like, I don't know, maybe the entrance is there. Have like a... I mean, I guess that's, that's kind of a good another bedroom. Actually, we need a bathroom over here somewhere. We have this huge space with no bathroom anywhere. Maybe it can be... Hmm. There's a good place to tuck it away. Could do one there. It's long. <laughs> Is that bedroom too small for a big apartment or is that okay? 
Otherwise, that could be like a walk in. Oh, maybe. No. I was like, that's not going to be the ensuite, because otherwise, then we don't have a bathroom over there. We do like ensuite on this side. Um, I didn't really want to do the bathroom or the kitchen, because there's not really much room to cut it in anywhere without losing a lot of space. I think that'll- I think that's okay. That's okay. Have like a single bedroom. Too- it's too small? Hmm, yeah, look, I- I did kind of agree. Can I move- actually, can I just move the wall here? Does that make the main- oh, now the main bedroom feels- does that feel too- is that too small? Okay, the main bedroom is also gonna have this, though. So we're gonna do like this, and it's gonna have- hang on, oh, okay, this is actually- this is one pretty big downside with this building, is if you're playing and you have your camera he like here and you're like, oh, look at this apartment. Oh, there goes my camera. <laughs> it's one of those buildings, so yeah. <laughs> Great. So yeah, you kind of, if you want to play in it, you kind of have to be more zoomed out. If you can zoom in too much, it's game over. Another reason why I didn't want to do too much in this place. Anyway, I'm thinking... Yeah, but if I put that there, this, the bed definitely has to be over here, because otherwise that's really cutting into where the... How about this? We do a foyer for the bedroom. And then... A bathroom here, and then behind the bathroom here, walk-in wardrobe. So you come into the bedroom here, right? You have your own foyer for the bedroom. And I made the bathroom that size because otherwise I felt the bathroom would be too small. Although, that, no, that's too small. No, we kind of, we need, it needs to be bigger than that. Okay, bigger foyer for the bedroom, okay. Foyer has like this, ma uh, bedroom has this massive foyer, all right? It's gonna have like a little bench in there, it's gonna have a mirror. And then in here... Hmm, I'm trying to figure this out. <laughs> in here... That's a good bathroom. But then where does the walk-in robe go? Does, is this, does this just become the walk-in robe now? But then what is so far from the bathroom? That doesn't work. This is, very com this is very complicated stuff. You know what, what if we move... Hang on, what if I adjust this? What if I do this? Turn this into the bedroom foyer. There's a big foyer there, and then remove this wall. Does this help? Is that any better? I, I don't know if that helps. Hang on, obviously the bed would move somewhere else. I don't think that helps. Because we still have this issue where they're so far apart. <laughs> Hang on, let me go back. Let me go back. Yeah, back, back, back to that. Okay. No, I, I like this. Maybe... No, I don't want clothes in there. Maybe the foyer needs to be smaller. And we just have... Wardrobe? Bathroom? I mean, what about that? Is, is this too small though? You know what I mean? It's, it's gotta be luxurious. <laughs> is it too small? Yeah, let me get a door. I'm gonna need a door for this bedroom. This or something. I kind of wanted to do... Well, if it because if we're doing like a big luxurious apartment, it's got to have a big luxurious bath. And this is a lot of space. We can't do it in there. So like this kind of needs to be the bathroom, all right? It's like, that's too small for a wardrobe. So, you know what I mean? Maybe we just have to go a lot. Maybe we just have to extend this way. Then the bathroom, oh my gosh. Then it has to go there because the the window. <laughs> the bathroom is like as big as the bedroom. <laughs> Much smaller in New York City. This is a penthouse though. This is the entire floor. It doesn't need, it doesn't need to be small. Hmm. The problem is we can't expand it a little because of the windows. <laughs> the windows make it difficult. Maybe... I just get, I'm just gonna, I think I need to move on because otherwise I'm gonna be stuck in this forever. I think that's fine for now. This can be 
another bedroom. That's pretty big. And we have a shared bathroom here for, you know, living and all that. It's weird and long, but whatever. Um, okay, then over here, we need like a, we definitely need like an office or something because we don't have that, like an office or a library. Maybe we could just have the hallway and uh, have a big room here. Does that wall fit there? Ooh, no, it does not. Okay, that's kind of annoying actually. Because I wanted another room at the end separate from this, which actually that kind of works. So that means at this point, this is actually only a two bedroom apartment. Which I guess it's fine. You could add more bedrooms pretty easily if you just convert like this room, for example. But I was thinking we could do like an office in here. This could be like maybe library, whatever. Uh, and then we've got the, like the ballroom. Or maybe that should just be another bedroom. Although that's a weird spot for a bedroom, but whatever. Anyway, that would have to have doors. Uh, okay. I guess, uh, I'm not really choosing the doors right now, but anyway, there'll be doors there and doors there. And then this, I guess, maybe I'll just use these double doors everywhere in this apartment. Not necessarily, though. I might change them, but I'll do, use them for now. Make the office and library one room. Well, I mean, that could be this room. Um, although, I guess, it, no, it'd have to be this room because this is kind of more of like a hallway room. Oh, I guess it could be, you know, I could just put a door here, but then I have so many doors in this room. It's kind of weird. It's kind of too much. Hey, Deli. Whoa, you're getting... Deli's have wait, what day of the week is it? Well, it's for... It's what? Whoa, big Wednesday night with Deli. For, it's... Deli's like, can you open this? No, it's for Christmas cooking right Whoa. <laughs> wait, have you... Oh, you haven't peeled it yet. Oh. I guess that's why I couldn't open it. You didn't, yeah. I cool. thought it was a twisty. Isn't it just a cork? Yeah, but I thought the first bit was twisty. There you go. Thank you. Sorry, everyone. You weren't meant to show everyone. That's <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> Deli's getting on the, the cognac. Let's go. Yes, the little, oh, little drags. It's for very Whoops. special Sorry. Christmas day cooking. <laughs> okay. Thank you. That's all right. Uh, Hmm, okay. <laughs> I think she's making Christmas like pudding and stuff like that. Uh no, I don't want to do a bar or anything in here. I think the bar the bar's gonna go in um in here. Cause this will be like a almost like a function ballroom, party room party room so that'll be like you know bar dance floor probably grand piano that kind of stuff in there and then i yeah well I kind of maybe there should just be a hallway because if if this room is not closed off it kind of we could even just do it like this you know this might help it's like being opened up at some point so then at least it sort of separates it a bit more um I wanted to taste it before I use it for the pudding. Whoa, Deli, getting on it. Although that's probably a pretty good idea because if it tastes nasty, you don't want to use it. Uh, I'm gonna light in here. Get some more of these lights around the place. Okay. I guess the problem is, do we have enough items to fill all these like living spaces? Cause I don't want to do too much. We've got a big living space over here and then a big like sort of parlor room there. In which, whoops, sorry. Which means, Probably another bedroom that would be good, but then we probably need another bathroom as well because that means we only have one bathroom here. We probably want one over this side of the house or apartment, sorry. Maybe at the end of this section here could be a bathroom. Again, long, thin boy, but I think it works. It means I can get rid of that door. This could be potentially a bedroom. Actually, if I hang on, if I adjust this a little bit, I go more like this. So smaller bathroom. But then I can have a door to, I'm just gonna use this for now, a bedroom there and a bathroom there, right? And then this could be, and then also that can actually move along too. But no, actually I could close that into a little hallway room. And then this could be like the library reading room. 
I think that works. And we have a bedroom there, one there, and one there. So then we have three bedrooms. So it's, you, it, look, it's not a lot of bedrooms, but I mean, you could easily change one of the other rooms into another bedroom. Though I don't, yeah. No, I think I'm fine with that. Uh, no, I don't have the pack. This is, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just really excited and building a whole bunch of apartments. We, because we did the, um, the $20,000 apartment. That was actually really fun. I'm actually really excited for that apartment. The, the renovator one. And then I did, what was the other one I did? Oh, the, the townhouses, the painted ladies. That was fun too. And then I was like, I'm going to build a giant building. That's a great idea. Uh, no, I can't, I can't really do any more secret passages. There's not really room, to be honest, in between the apartments. Because if I, I've already sort of, there's not really anywhere to put them. Because the building's not really big enough for it. It's a fun idea. But because we're only on a 30 by 30 and these are only seven tiles wide, there's not really room to do secret passages. Also, <laughs> the cost of this building so far. Does anyone, actually, does anyone want to take a guess of how much this building costs? <laughs> it's already got, I don't know what it is now because I've actually added a few of these items in. It will be more than what it was before. It's a lot though. I don't think it's I don't think it's 500k yet. It will probably definitely be 500k at least when it's done. But I think let's see, we're at 311,000 right now. <laughs> so if we ever buy this in the let's play, it's gonna take I don't know how long it's gonna take. I don't know how much we're gonna make from being a landlord in in Sims uh, 4 at all. Like I, I have no idea. But, okay, I'm going to leave this here for now, like this floor plan, move on. So, because I think we got a good signing point. Like, these might change. Uh, I'm going to keep working on these, obviously. Um, but I think it's good to get a starting point, because then it's easier to, like, adjust and change. Especially as I start furnishing. But uh, what I do want to do is figure out the last two sections downstairs that we have. Because we've got, uh, like I said, at the beginning, I showed you we have like the gym, so like a basically a public gym, public library here, and then these are the two lobbies for the residents, and then we have another two like public spaces. I kind of I wanted to do a pool in this building, but it doesn't really fit, and I don't really want to add another floor in the basement to do a pool, so that's not gonna work. Uh, but I think I think a laundromat could be fun. Because that, that was a suggestion. I, as long as we don't put any hampers anywhere in this building, then the laundromat will be decorative. <laughs> That's the idea. Uh, okay, so I'm going to do... Where is the laundry? I never know where the laundry stuff is. Isn't it in, like, recreation or something? It's weird. Uh, I can't do a rooftop pool because it will literally be inside of this apartment. <laughs> If you build a pool here, it'll just take up the lower floor. And we can't go any higher because we're already on uh, four floors. Actually, I need to put walling on that. We're at the maximum height already. Yoga studio, that's a good idea. A kids area. Spa. A flower. Well, a flower shop doesn't really do anything, but then now there's a laundromat. See, like, I added the gym and the library because those are things that, like, if you're renting in this building, would actually be useful because then you don't need to travel to a gym, but you also don't need to own the stuff because you're just renting in the building. And same with the library, like obviously books are fine, but there's three computers in here. So if you're renting here, you can come to the library and use the computers. Flower shop is a cute idea, but it doesn't really do anything for us. And I guess none of this is a laundry. Ground floor pool, it's not really, there's not room. There's no room, I, I already tried, trust me. A coffee shop won't work because there won't be any NPC. Like, we can't do stuff that needs NPCs because this is going to be a residential lot. But yeah, you could click on it and, like, hire them, but that's kind of annoying. An art studio? We could do an art studio. Maybe that's not a bad idea because then you could go down there and, use, like, build creative skill and stuff. That's not a bad idea. Community garden. Well, I guess that would kind of be in here if we we're going to do like a garden. I actually, I haven't really done anything here. Um, I was probably going to do like a fountain or something in there, but it's not that big is the problem.
Um, I don't want to just do like generic skill room. So I kind of want to feel like it's something if you were walking along the street, you'd be like, oh, I'm going to go into this place. And I think probably, um, I mean, could do a sauna. I, I think the art studio is a good idea. Maybe, you know, which one? This could actually be a good sauna because we've got this weird space there. Activities. Is that in recreation? Where is that? Or is that plumbing? Oh no, it's here. Because this could fit in here. We could do like that and then I guess probably not the massage tables because that doesn't make sense. But we could do like that and then just have like a little reception area and maybe like some showers or something. So if I did like oops. That and then I don't know, there's giant windows there, like, <laughs> you can't, we need like, we need like bathrooms and like a change area or something, I guess probably here. That's kind of what I did with the, actually, can I just copy the gym ones? Cause like, that'll be easier. I don't need to custom furnish this entire place. Don't do that, I'll make it a little bit smaller though, I think. Cause this is a small, whoops, smaller place. Cause then we have like a little shower area. And then if I add like um smaller. Okay, so we can do that and then actually oh, just, should I just make that bigger? Just have it there. Because then we can have like, yeah. You know, that should just be like this. Put that in there for now. And then we just need like a little toilet. I guess we really just do one. Sink and shower, because I don't think we're going to have a lot of people using this. Just because this is a much smaller space than the other side, because we have, we have this whole like lobby area cutting into this, whereas the other the other one is like the whole space is a bit smaller. Maybe, and then actually I can put this in a room on its own, because I think this will fit. Wow, this looks this, such a nice looking bathroom, isn't it? I mean, it's got everything you need. What more could you want? Is that the same height? I think so. I don't know. I don't know. I'll fix, I'll fix it later. It's fine. <laughs> it's like around the corner there. Yeah, I'm just sort of playing in the common areas of the building now. Uh, I guess I'll put that there and then we'll have like a toilet door there and then like a shower door there. But this is space that we shared for all residents. So I was sort of decorating it like it would be Wow, those, those lights do not produce any light at all, do they? I guess it's too high up. <laughs> if I put it lower. Sure, whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah, so th this, if you're renting in the building, you'd be able to use these spaces. Whoops, sorry. That's the idea. They have a little entrance over here. Uh, I'm not streaming for rent. I mean, currently in San Myshuno, streaming a build in Sims 4. For, for, for rent. This will be, we'll make this an apartment building f when for rent comes out. Uh, whoops. Dang it. I always click on turning organized debug off. <laughs> it's really annoying. Uh, yeah, so we'll turn it into an apartment building when the pack is out. Sparta, here we go. I want like the decorations. What do we have? We have like these. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. I'm not gonna fully decorate this now, but just so we get an idea of how this is gonna work. Do we want the, like the stone one or like the wooden sauna? What do you reckon's better? You wanna do that one or this one? Like what what kind of vibe are we going for? I feel like that's kind of more luxurious, a stone one. An arcade kids. Room, game room, that kind of stuff's good. Wood, stone, wooden, stone, stone, both. I don't think we can fit both. I don't know where the other one would go. <laughs> this is all the space we have. Oh, I guess actually there probably wouldn't be tiles in there, would there? Wouldn't tiles be slippery? I don't know. Probably at least those tiles look slippery. <laughs> Do like the stone floor. I'm just gonna get stone for now. That can always change. Yeah, so it's got a little bathroom there, kind of like a little change area, a little reception, sauna thing there. 
which doesn't have a lot of privacy. <laughs> Maybe I need to blank out those windows, because... Have a look. I haven't... I'm not really doing any of the colors or anything yet. This is just... We're just in the planning phase, you know? Because this build is so big. We just got to plan, you know? I'm going to do that. There we go. That's a bit better. Otherwise, I feel like you're kind of on show going from the bathroom to the, <laughs> the sauna. And I think it's okay because we're around the back, so I don't think it really matters. Uh, all right. Well, if that's that's a sauna, I like that idea. We've got the gym. We've got the library. Then I guess this is either going to be... I don't want to just do a generic skill room because I think that's probably a little too... Like... I don't know, I, just, I want this to be like almost like a shop or like a, a venue you go to. So we could do like an art studio, which is a good suggestion, or like the, we could do like a uh, like an arcade with like gaming stuff. We could do that. Uh, I don't want to do a bar because a bar needs a bartender, which we're not going to have on a residential lot. And same with a cafe. So we can't do any of that stuff, as we mentioned before. And a gift shop, that's not really a thing. Um, there just needs to be something we can use on a residential lot that doesn't require an NPC. That also kind of feels like a, a commercial place. Uh, we already have a library. The library is just over here. I need that one. I think... Let me just do the flooring. Get the, you know, get the vibe. There's no specific utility room yet, but I'm not going to worry about that until the pack's actually out. Um, because I don't know, I don't, I don't feel like there's much point doing that just yet. Because I don't know how big the items are. I've got plenty of room, like, in here. This whole lobby is, like, empty. To either do another room or have access to a basement somewhere to do, like, a utility room. So I'll just do that when we know about that. Um... Oh yeah, I, I know. I know there's no door to the sauna or anything yet. This, this that's not done. Don't worry. We're just planning. I think I like arcade because that's actually something we can do that doesn't require NPCs, other Sims to actually run it, and it's something you could do like with other residents and stuff. And we could put in stuff like is it? Wait, maybe in the right category. I think I need to be here. We can do what? Well, we could do like game tables. Uh, we could do, you know, let me just get this, whoops, that one. Uh, I don't like that, but you know, just for example, we could do that. We could do bowling alley. Now we could get this, we could do the, how much space do we have? That's kind of a good question. We could do juice bong, we also have foosball. Uh, kind of run out of space already, let me move this around a little bit. Because then you have like a recreation room, which often needs more than the sims in your family and i feel like you could then come here and use this stuff i think that's a good idea pool table unfortunately does not exist in the sims 4. i don't know how we're like nine years into the sims 4 and they don't have a pool table <laughs> so i'm thinking either this which i guess is arguably less useful than like if we did an art studio Okay, so you know what? Let's, let's yeah, we're either gonna here's the option. We're gonna do an arcade or an art studio. And that's what I'm that's what we're gonna narrow it down to. So arcade would be this stuff, which I'm just gonna put over here. Art studio, on the other hand, would be stuff like you can potentially do robotics. It's not really art, but it would be stuff like hmm, potentially architect uh, architecture. <laughs> uh archaeology. But no, no, we could be, we could do like knitting section, we could have um, potentially flower arranging. It's not really art. Do bonsai. That's kind of more gardening stuff though, isn't it? Pumpkin carving. We could do candle making. We could do juice fizzing. That's kind of, no, that's, that's kind of a little bit far out. Obviously painting. And maybe musical instruments? Maybe. I don't know if that's kind of, uh, it's kind of art, creative. I don't know. I think we're either doing art or arcade. That's kind of where we're going. PSI making. Wait, what? Deli? What are you doing, Deli? <laughs> I 
And a flower shop would be pretty. I'm sure, look, a flower shop would be pretty, but it wouldn't do anything. I mean, I guess we could do flower arranging in there. Okay, let's do, let's, you know what, let's just, let's do a poll. So we're doing arcade or art. I'm gonna do a poll. Arcade or art studio. And you're gonna vote in the poll, and we're just gonna do, we're gonna lock in whatever it is. The poll, the poll is binding, much like the wheel. All right, does that work? I clicked start poll and my chat disappeared. Oh, there it is. All right, the poll should hopefully be at the top of your stream. Chat, uh, box thing. I'm getting voting there. And I'll, I'll just let that run for a bit. I think the art studio, you know, has skill building up opportunities, whereas the arcade has relationship opportunities and the ability to hang out with other Sims. And in context, we already have like, you know, skill building over in the gym, we have computers and books in the library. Um, and we have a sauna, which I guess is kind of social as well, maybe. Wow, this is actually way more. <laughs> this is literally 50-50. <laughs> Spin the wheel. I've Changing the text on the wheel is too hard. It took me forever to do that the other day. Okay, you guys aren't helping. We're literally 5149. <laughs> Maybe we need to split it into two shops. Make it tiny and two small ones. <laughs> wow. You know, I, I did see chat being very much like both saying there's a lot of both of them, but we are literally like 5149. 5050 now. It is very close. Arcade. Creative art studio. Arcade. Art studio. The kids table too, yeah. We can we can do that stuff. But yeah, that, that's this is just an example of items we're doing both. Okay, you guys are literally not helping at all. What the heck? <laughs> it, I think arcade was ahead for a bit, now art studio has pulled ahead. So it's pretty much even. <laughs> so either choice I make, half of you are not going to like it. That's what I'm. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> A creative arcade. Hmm. Let's spin that wheel. Okay. Yeah. The the poll. I'm going to be honest. Did not help. Uh. <laughs> great. Thanks, guys. Art Studio is technically currently winning. Oh wait. Hang on. Is arcade gonna put no art studio is winning by 51%. What Delhi, why are you telling me to spin that wheel as well? I can't I can't just spin the wheel. The wheel has like it has names on it. Well, how's that gonna help? <laughs> That's not gonna help. Remove the sauna and do both. No, I like the sauna. I think the sauna is good because it, it is something different as well. And it's a nice, like, way to relax with The Sims. And something a bit different. I mean, I guess... And also, this is a weird shape. I, no, I like that. I'm keeping this one. The, the poll is not to vote to remove stuff. Okay? No removing. The build is binding. Nothing can change. This is a no mistakes build. So I cannot move these items anymore. They're stuck there. Arcade is fine, is what Deli said. But Art Studio is winning 51%. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna end the poll. Look, Art Studio technically won. It's 5150 though. Uh, oh, actually, wait, what? YouTube chat says the, the, the final result was 5148. That doesn't even make sense, YouTube. The heck? <laughs> uh, wait, so Delhi voted. What did you vote, Delhi? Arcade. How did you know? What's in chat? Oh, I was gonna say I can flip a coin. Oh, do you wanna? You can flip a coin if you want, but. We have the coin. Um, the, what's what? What's heads? What's tails? This is heads and this <laughs> is tails. I'm kidding. <laughs> well, yes. Okay. Okay, we're gonna flip a coin, everyone. Heads is what? Heads is arcade. Tails is the art gallery. Okay, the coin is binding too. Yeah. Okay. What art gallery? It's an art studio. Sorry, art studio. Wait, what was what? I totally. Heads forgot. is arcade. Okay, I just remember that. Heads is arcade. Let's go. Tails is art studio. Let's go. Okay. I'm just gonna do it in the middle of the room. Oh, you're just gonna fall out on the floor? Ah! Oh. <laughs> heads! It's heads, everybody! It's heads! 
It says arcade. Arcade. Says the the coin is binding. And this is an Australian $2 coin. Oh, no one cares. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I find currency interesting. I have to, it's manual focus at the moment. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, it's very narrow. There you go. Coin. $2. It's got the queen on it. There cool. You go. Thanks. Cool. Good chat. Guys. Hi, guys. It's me. <laughs> Good chat. Hi. Sorry, this is when I focus, the camera just zooms in, so. Imagine if Do someone woke in? up and they Wait. put this. No, I don't want to be on that. <laughs> Imagine if someone woke up and your face is just like, hi, hey, it's me. Hi, it's me, guys. I'm live. Oh, <laughs> All right. What are we doing? Art studio? No, okay. I know, I know, you know. <laughs> Alright, so let's get the, let's get this up. Alright, so we'll, first of all, arcade. Um, well, I think we gotta, we gotta do like the classic arcade, right? Like, like we did in the, um... Oh, wait. Oh, my, I was like, what happened to my sound? My headphones turned off. Well, they didn't turn off, they just disconnected. Hang on. Like, where did my music go? There we go, now I can hear it. You know, in the rec center we did a while ago, which we actually did part of it on the live stream as well. Can I just do like a little... I just want it to be... I want to be like 90s arcade, you know? With the, the cool carpet and everything, like this... This here, you know? I mean, we got to do that, right? How, how can we not do that? we we got to do that. So it's like you come into this like really fancy building and then like... It's that on the inside. The Chuck E. Cheese. Are there animatronics we can put into it? Yeah, the uh, the gaming machine as well. We'll do that. I think I might just do a door there. I don't know if I'll do one there because I might need that space. How big, wait, how big is this? Oh, that's three. Actually, you know what? That's perfect for this. I'm going to put this here. Yeah. I won't do a door on that, so we'll just have one over here. Uh, I don't know if I actually want to use this. Uh, we got to, so the items that we can put in here. Yeah, let me put that there. So we've got that. There's a foosball table as well. That's potential. We've got to do the, uh, the gaming thing. Is the, wait, are all the game tables the same? They're all the same, right? There's no difference. Like they all do the same thing or is like, uh, do they actually have different games? I forget. Karaoke? I don't know. Oh, I guess we could do the small karaoke thing. Hang on. First of all, let me get the other gaming thing. Uh, gaming thing? In here. Nope. Miscellaneous. Here we go. We gotta do one of these. This is gonna go in here, because whoever has this in their house. Let me just put it there for now. All uh, tables are the same. Okay, good. Uh, we, we should have one of those, because I think those would be good. Let me do like this one maybe. What color do we want? It's gonna it's just gonna be colorful. Alright, orange. That was pretty colorful. I don't know if I like it, but we're gonna go with it. Alright, so that we got this thing, we have foosball. I don't know, this thing's pretty big. Do we wanna do do we wanna do a juice pong table? Because I think kids can't play with juice pong, right? So like do we wanna do this? Or is this just gonna take up too much space? The void critters, yeah, we got we got to do void critters for sure. Is that in electronics or is that also in here? No, we don't want this. Yeah, I think this is too. If we had more space, it'd be good, but yeah, we'll put it in the lobby. How about we just set up a kegger party out here in the, in the court? And right, we get rid of that for now. Can kids play foosball? Does it say? Probably, I feel like probably not, knowing The Sims. Um, all right, hang on, let me get the other stuff. So we want, let me go back to this thing. Where is the Void Critter thing? Is that in here? You know what, I'll just search it. Hey, thanks, Thomas. Thank you everyone as well that has uh, either, you know, continued to be a member through the stream or become a member of this stream. I very much appreciate it. Um, okay, it's not called, cool. you know what, I'll just search Void. Kids can play foosball. Okay, that's good. 
Okay, this just looks like a collection of random junk at the moment. <laughs> so we're gonna figure this out. All right, how big is karaoke? Carry. I just I always forget. Karaoke like that. Okay. So this. Okay, that's not that big. We could do the small one because the big one is like this. Although that does. Hang on. Hold up. It would be good to have the big screen in here. Hmm. Hang on. Let me. We gotta. We gotta. Whoops. We gotta organize this. Obviously, we have to have this. We, we have to have this thing. That's just a given. So that could go there. We could have this here. We obviously need to do a different wallpaper. That could go over there like that. Oh, a dartboard. Should we have a dartboard like... <laughs> Hang on. Is it called a dartboard? What is it called? <laughs> have it there. <laughs> so people are playing on the arcade and you're like... <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, do a do a door to the diagonal wall. Yeah, that actually might be a better idea. And it'll probably also look better. Because then, yeah, then we can use this space here too. I might need to move some of these windows again. Well, not move them. I might need to blank them out like I did over there. Just so we can utilize that wall space. Uh, door. That's what I'm trying to do. I think there is a single... Actually, there isn't a single arch. Oh, yeah, no, there is. Well, it's not single. It's double, but it should still fit like that. Yeah, that's fine. It would be nice to have like a little counter, like reception counter thing here, but it's not going to fit, so I'm not going to bother. All right, so that goes there. You come in, got that thing here. Uh, I don't think darts are good. <laughs> I don't think darts are a good idea. There will be a murder in this building. Yeah, if we have darts, there definitely will be. All right, I like this. How, how much space do we need for chairs? Prize counter. I don't think we're going to fit a prize counter in here. As much as that, I would like that detail, um... I think we might have to uh, leave that. Are we going to do these like bowling alley chairs? Do we want this all orange? I've just kind of chosen orange because it all matches. If I do it that way, they should be able to get to all the chairs. I think that'll work. All right, let me change some of these walls. What do we got? Does this have a... I feel like that. That's kind of cool. That one's kind of fun. I don't know if it's quite the right vibe though. What about some of these? Oh, hello. Prize wall. That's not a bad idea. We could put a bunch of stuff on the wall. I do kind of like this. I don't know if I want this on every wall though. But I, I kind of like the vibes of it though. I feel like it works. <laughs> okay. And you know what? I feel like the orange now looks good with that. Yeah, yeah, we'll do we'll do neon lighting. Don't worry, don't, don't worry. You know, I got you, I got you. Blue, yeah. All right, void critters. It's kind of weird because it's just on the floor. How much room does this need? Because I know I know the foot. Is that all the room it needs? It feels like that's not enough. You know what I mean? Does it need more? Does it need to be more like this? Like, does that have enough room? I like that one. Pinball machines would be good too. Um, yeah, more arcade stuff in general would be pretty cool. I like using, and I've been using around this build, the mirrors that are from Vintage Glamour, because when you put the walls down, they disappear. So if I, yeah, if I do that. Whereas like regular wall mirrors like this, you put it on a wall, put the wall down, they stay there all the time, which can be good if you're trying to use it as a mirror, but if you're trying to use it as a decoration, I find it annoying. Anyway, all that to say is I would like some mirrors in here. Maybe behind the karaoke could be cool. I don't know. Just a little bit of something, something. Can you push the brick wall into void space behind arcade? Brick wall. You mean this? This is our secret alleyway. We can't get rid of that. <laughs> can't get rid of that. Oh, do you mean this? But this is part of the building. We can't get rid of that either. Um, all right, hang on. What else, what else do we need? We got the, do we want the foosball in here? Hang on, do I have move objects off still? Or on? Okay, now it's off. Does this fit? Not real. Oh, it does fit over here, actually. Right there. That seems too much, though, right? What about this way? It can kind of fit here. 
I think this might be pushing it. I think having this as well is maybe too much. Hang on, let me move this. Whoops. Um, yeah, jukebox would be cool. I think we could probably fit it there. Well, if we had the foosball here, maybe the void critter could go here. What is this? Does this get? To, this is getting very cramped, though, right? But that's t too much going on. Does this fit that way? No. Foosball in the corner, Void Critters in the middle. We don't need Void Critters. Does anyone really play with the Void Critters thing? I think the Foosball is cooler than Void Critters. Like if we have to choose, you know what I mean? Can I move the, okay, the this to here, you mean? I guess I could, but I don't know if that helps, does it? Or do you mean somewhere else? Can you move the arcade machine to the wall next to it? Oh, over here? Oh, I don't know. I think it probably looks better like this, though, actually. Anyway, I don't know if that's what you meant, but I think that looks better. All right, maybe we'll just get rid of the Void Critter, because I think that's not working. Ooh. Look, we can play all different kinds of sport. Well, I think it's just, what, soccer and football? I think it's the only two options. Oh, look at that little guy. It's like our Chuck E. Cheese mascot. Except it's not Chuck E. Cheese. All right, no Void Critter. Void Critter's gone. Um, all right. We could do like, uh, well, if we're doing like a prize wall, first of all, we're never going to see it because the walls are going to be down like this. Or at least that's how I play, so I'm never going to see it. And one thing I didn't want to do in this build is do too many details and decorations because this is such a big build. Doing a lot of decorations is going to be a problem. Um, but we could do like wall decals and like posters and stuff. How about this? You can win these things. <laughs> you can win a freeze ray. There you go. Here's your prizes. The vending machine? Um, I don't think it really fit in here. We probably have to go... Oh, actually, hey, where's that jukebox actually? I want to get that. That was a good suggestion. So we got this one, but this, this is the one you really want. This is like arcade. Uh, can I put it, hang on. Oh gosh, there's so little room in here. <laughs> Anna, this can move over here a little bit. This can shift here. This can go here. Yeah, okay. That's what you want. Oh yeah, ooh, look at that. Oh, okay. That might be too much. Red? Green. Hmm, I do like the, I do like the, oh, the, oh, the purple, okay. And it has the red. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's too close to this now. That can't go... Oh, I can't go there because of the door, but it can go there. Then this can go here. <laughs> the green looked good you liked? Like that one? The green does look good. You know what? It does look good. I do like that. You're right. Do contrast the purple. Oh, too much purple. Uh, okay. That's cool. Does this have any other colors? No. White and black. Okay. Probably fine then. All right. Does this have enough room? I feel like I know it says it does. It feels like it doesn't. I guess that's one of the one of the many things I'm gonna have to eventually playtest in this place. What's the table for? That's like the game table. So it's got the puzzles. It's got don't wake the llama. It's got the card games, etc. All that kind of stuff. All right, let's get rid of this thing. So lighting, we obviously have to do. Oh yeah, gamer lights, here we go. How do we want to design these? Like how do, do I want to do a cool design? Sweet gamer panels. Hang on, I need a, you know what? Let me do them over here. This is not really working for me. This is not going how I want it to. <laughs> I don't need one of these. Uh, yeah, if I'm gonna do vending machines, the entry would probably be a good spot. Not really. Hmm. Not as cool as I thought it would be, to be honest. <laughs> what is that?
It, it, look, it's kind of like a little spaceship, like a space invader, kind of. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Does it matter? No. Cool. Uh, that's great. I love it. Um, all right. What other cool lights can we get in here? It's oh, we're gonna get these. Maybe just next to those. Yeah. And then we're gonna do this. Uh, people ask me in the wall. That really changes the color of the lights. In um, my videos, what this is. I think that's part of better build by. Normally, you can only do this in live mode. Also, it has a different uh, UI. This has more options. From better build by mod. It also just means you don't have to go into live mode to do it. And then I obviously want to get... Ooh, yes. Oh, obviously this. That's not what I was going to say, but yes, we do need this. Um, oh, these are cool. No, I want these as well. And of course, we'll do the high school years ones too. I'm going to do this one here, here, and here. Oh, maybe that too. Should we just do like an RGB kind of setup on these? Oops. There we go. No purple on that one. And then we got to do, obviously, these ones too. Hmm, where do we want to put these? Maybe on this wall. These are cool, but also very annoying having to individually set all of them. What color should that strip be? Blue or purple? Let's see, what does blue look like? Blue's kind of cool. Or purple. Or another color. Oops. Do not go in here if you have epilepsy. Does epilepsy, is that triggered just by colored light? Because these, these lights aren't flashing. Although we could do that. Lighter blue, maybe? Orange, blue, purple? Purple better. Let's just do purple. I really like the blue, but I think purple would be... Do we... that... whoops. Do we want to change this to a different color? Or keep it purp... like the pink purple color as well? There we go. Sweet. Looking pretty cool. I think we need some here too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, well, did RGB, let's go maybe, like, maybe yellow on that one. Actually, maybe this one should be yellow and this should be something else. Let's go back to purple on that one. Ooh, that's cool. Alrighty. And you guys wanted an art studio? Seriously, guys? This is way cooler. Come on. <laughs> can it be blue? This can be any color we want it to be. Yeah, blue doesn't look that good. I think if we're going to change it, it to be like yellow, which is kind of cool. Or maybe like red. Because otherwise I don't think it sticks out enough if it's blue. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. The sort of cyan, or act more like turquoise. Yeah, I think it would have to be like turquoise -y, yellow, green. Maybe red. I think orange is really bright enough to stick out. Yeah, I kind of like that one. I think that's fun. I feel like this is kind of lame now. It feels like it's not colorful enough, you know what I mean? Maybe, maybe like the green. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> uh, what else do we have in here? Are there any cool like hanging lights? These ones? Oh yes, absolutely these. Hey, thanks Taylor. Appreciate it. So these are actually producing quite a lot of light. If I make it a color, we definitely get a lot of colored light, which I don't know if I totally want. Although purple is pretty cool. What does it look like at nighttime? Whoa. I mean, that's kind of cool. <laughs> I kind of like that. Now, because there's a place with move objects, we're always going to see those, which I don't know if I like. Kind of annoying. If I move it here a little bit, I think they'll disappear. Yeah, because it just gets in the way otherwise. Okay, I'm liking this, I'm liking this. It's a little dark over here, but I think it's okay because the karaoke is a screen, so you'll be looking at the screen anyway, so I think it's okay. This wall's kind of blank. 
Uh, we could put on maybe like like an energy drink poster. There you go. What else do we have? How about another one? Get some. Uh, uh, what would we call it here? We can call it slime because it kind of sounds like another drink. That slime is produced by uh, who's an influencer in the Sims world. They definitely seem dark. <laughs> do we want to like, do I want to do different posters? I just did three of the same one. Well, not the same one, but different variants. Did I want to do other stuff? I just put those up. Cause we could get like this, this guy. I don't really have much wall space other than that. So. Penny Pizzazz. Yeah, it's Penny Pizzazz's uh, brand of slime energy. It's pretty cool. Could do void critters. Although we, we deleted the void critters, so they don't exist anymore. Gonna put the door. Uh, it's right, right there. <laughs> Doors here. <laughs> which actually, speaking of which, probably needs lights in here. Which I think will be probably the same as the building lights. Like, uh, not that. This one. Whoops, too far. But I'll just have that in there. I mean, that's probably fine. Because again, the walls are gonna. You're gonna be playing like this. You're not really actually gonna see it. So I think it's fine. Pretty cool. All right. Okay. Let's go. Now, can I fit, uh, can we fit a vending machine in here? Do we even have those in residential? Oh, we do, okay. What do we have? Simmies, Breezy, Snack. Probably want a snack one. Is this, oh my, oh, oh, I forgot. Oh. Cause the vending machines can crush you. So they actually need a whole bunch of space to fit. <laughs> so I guess technically it doesn't fit that way. Hang on, let me tell them move objects. Does it fit here? No. <laughs> These are way too big. We, I mean, we could have them around the building, but I don't, I don't think I really want to. It would probably just add more lag anyway. That's fine. I'm gonna honestly leave that. I think that's good. I, I'm happy with that. I think the arcade is good because now we have like a recreational place that's shared. Because again, this is going to be a residential lot. And uh, we're going to turn all these into apartments that you can live in. But it means the shared spaces are like a gym, uh, a library with computers, the arcade with games and stuff that you can go hang out with other sims, and then a sauna for relaxing, which I think will be good. But I think that'll work out pretty well. Sims don't use anything but the GameCube. Well, I mean, it's <laughs> that's true. But it's more for like you as a player to be able to just... So you don't have to travel somewhere, you know? You can just come here. You're like, oh, I want to go hang out with, uh, you know, the people in the other apartment. You just go here, you know, which I think would be cool. Assuming there's no bugs. Well, there will be bugs. Assuming there's not completely bad bugs. It'll be cool. <laughs> uh, no, we're not going to do a laundry mat. We, we've got all four things now. I don't want to add laundry because it's going to... This lot's already going to be laggy, I think, with laundry as well. It's going to be bad. And same with, like... If I had a vending machine, this will probably make a bunch of sims go to it. Actually, I don't know if they use it autonomously. They might not, but it might be all right. But some items, I mean, specifically this thing, actually would probably make a lot of sims go to it. So, uh, door to sauna. The sauna's not done. I, the, it's not painted or furnished or anything. I haven't done that yet, so don't worry about that. Um, well, I think that's pretty good. How long have we been going? Nearly two hours. That's pretty good. I think I'll leave this here. It's just a short little stream because I wanted to get some feedback on the layout of these apartments, which I think we now have. Uh, so I'll continue working on this. A video on this build will probably be out, I think, next week because I think this Friday I'm planning. I just don't know if I should say it. No, it's pretty big news. Pretty big news. No, I'm planning on releasing the uh pack ratings video that the the survey I did a while ago now uh where you guys rated all of the packs i think that will be out this friday i don't want to promise but that's my current plan which means this build finish build with all this done will be next week sometime i don't know and good news the ratings we got over twenty-three thousand, which is pretty epic Last year we had 15,000. 
Um, so this year we got even more. Also, I want to release a video. I was actually going to release it in December, you know, so it's kind of lining up with the holidays, but then I figured, to be honest, if I release this like near when 4Rent comes out, people might be confused that 4Rent's not in the survey, like in the video at all. So I figured I might release it well before. So at least then there's a bit of time to like, I don't know. I don't know. I'd, also, I figured I didn't really want to release it in the middle of doing for rent like gameplay and let's plays and stuff. Uh, no, I haven't recorded the video yet. So that'll be for the ratings video. I'm planning for it to release on Friday. Well, yeah, Friday. So I'd have to record it like tomorrow is kind of the idea or the day after. No, it would have to be tomorrow. That's the plan. I don't know. You know what? It'll be soon. If it's not, if it's not this Friday, it'll be very soon because it is, it's is pretty much ready to go. Um, so that's exciting. But yeah, thanks for coming along and helping me out with this build, with the feedback. We are, what's our value now? We're at 334,000, pretty big stuff. Um, and if you missed earlier, we are building this building, which is on the thumbnail as well, which is a real building in New York called the Bell Nord. Uh, you can Google it and uh, there's a really good Wikipedia article on it. Um, I'm building a, whoa, sorry. Building a version of it here in The Sims 4, which is obviously <laughs> very much scaled down, but in The Sims 4, it's still very big uh, for a Sims 4 lot. So I don't know how well this will work for people, but hopefully, I'm hoping it works as an actual apartment rental building, because uh, it'd be very cool to see this all come together. So that's what we're working on, or what we're doing today. Uh, yeah, well, thanks for coming along, guys. I think I'm going to jump off now, and I guess I'll see you in the next video, which... Should be, wait, we had a video today, right? Yeah, the next video should be the rating video, I think. Thanks, Wishka. Thanks for that. Cool. Thanks for coming out, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.